So what is up guys, Nick here, helping you to master your technology and welcome to my Galaxy S23 Ultra one week later. Now this is not my review, I repeat, this is not my full review. That's coming Friday, Thursday or Friday. So stay tuned, just a few days away from that. I'm still gathering nightography samples as well as more camera samples. I already have over 150 images already though. And let me tell you, it's pretty impressive, but Let's begin by talking about the color. Now, I went with this exclusive red color. Now, some people are gonna say that's not red. You know, it is a type of red, but it's definitely not the vibrant, deep red, if you're looking for that. But at first, I was like, what the heck is this? Honestly, though, over the week, it has grown on me. I kinda like it, and the reason why is because you're not gonna see many people with this device. It just feels unique. I want something to feel different you know, than the common phone colors we always get. Now, the green is cool and all, but you know, we've had green before. The blue is nice, the lime is cool right here, and the graphite is also pretty awesome. But this red one really stands out. <laughs> and this one you can't get now until March 21st. So if you didn't get this one, you snoozed on it. The next thing is the price. Now, the trade-in values were kind of weak this year for the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra but I'm trading in my S22 Ultra, so we'll probably do one more video before that goes. But honestly, it wasn't great. I wish they was giving a little bit more value for it. But the price of this phone is pretty high, but you're getting a lot for your money. You're getting pretty much everything in the kitchen sink. You're getting the full-blown, full high-end experience here. Now, the next thing I wanna talk about here is a design. So Samsung decided to keep, essentially, the S22 Ultra's design. Now, my thing with this is that I think it's awesome, especially this black contrasting the red right here. You'll see the S Pen slot, SIM card slot, USB-C, as well as speaker. But my thing with this shape here is that I don't think it's super ergonomic anymore. The boxy design, you know, I really like the S21 Ultra. And I don't know why we have to go with, you know, kind of forcing this design on people who don't really like boxy designs. And then they're left with the less impressive Galaxy S23 Plus if they want the other design. So that's one thing I want to point out. I wish Samsung would still offer a large phone with a more ergonomic form factor, not the boxy shape. Now, don't get me wrong. If you're into S Pen, if you're a prior Note user, this is going to be your favorite thing ever. But personally, I don't find this as comfortable to hold as much as I used to because these phones are huge at 6.8 inches. And because it's squared and it's got a wide aspect ratio, which I do enjoy, I don't want them to go away from that. I just think they should take like the S23 Plus design and bring it up to this size, S Pen in the body, flat display. I mean, everybody, in, I don't see a lot of people saying, I love the curved display. I just want curved edges right now, yet Samsung keeps putting curved edges on their panel. Now, yeah, I did put a screen protector. I'm not sure if I'm feeling it just yet. I'll let you know how that goes. It's got a little, it's got a little circle right there let you know where the fingerprint is and stuff like that. But if you like it, let me know. I'll potentially leave a link down below. But honestly, the design is still premium. It's just the boxy design to me is slightly less ergonomic. And because the weight of this phone, you put a case on it, you really feel it. It is bulky. <laughs> it is a bulky, big, heavy device. So it's just something that's not super comfortable day to day. Just wanted to point that out. But it's still a very beautiful, premium looking phone. So I'll give them credit there for making a phone that feels every bit of what you're paying for it. Now, one week later, when it comes to the display, you know, like I say, I'm not gonna go into all the specifications, this is not my full review, but I can tell you that, you know, I like the brightness outside. I took it outdoors yesterday, put it on adaptive brightness, the thing got ridiculously bright. And in one UI 5.1, you can now tweak to the extra brightness mode right there, which essentially gives you full control over your brightness on this phone. So one week later, it's another S22 Ultra like display, you know, very bright, very premium, and honestly, super smooth. So there's not much else to say. It's a vibrant Samsung display. We've seen it before. You're gonna see it here again. It's still amazing, but I'll talk more about some of the included features in the full review and what I thought about this new eye comfort or this enhanced comfort mode. I'll talk about that in my upcoming review. One week later, when it comes to software, I like it, you know, I like all the control, the customizations, you know, I still don't think it's as clean as some other competing offerings. I'm not gonna say exactly who, you can decide for yourself what you think it is, I'll tell you more about that 
in my full review, but I still like how it's not nearly as cluttered as it used to be back in the days. And I like how, you know, it has all the features and functionalities that other competing phones don't have. So a week later, I just love these abilities to like split screen easily. Just like the things you want in another phone that they don't have, this phone usually has. It has a ton of advanced features and stuff like that. And I find myself really loving the ability to use Samsung DeX as like a computer for you know, my, with my phone, I mean, that's really good value offering because you could just buy this phone, not buy a computer, just buy the peripherals and you have yourself basically a computer right here. I also like the widgets and the theming options on this Samsung. One week later, I do think it's pretty fun to use this phone. It feels like you have more to play around with than you do on something like an iPhone or a Pixel right out of the box. But at the same time, I don't think the Galaxy software is going to be everyone's cup of tea, but I still think it's an amazing offering, especially for those of you who want to, you know, tinker around with the phone, play with, you know, settings, change everything out to your custom controls. And yes, while it does take more time, I believe, to set up a Samsung phone because there's a lot of features to get it just how you want it, once you do, it can be a very efficient, very productive workhorse for just about anybody if they take the time to set everything where they want it and stuff like that. You'll also find bigger lock screen clocks here you can change in One UI 5.1, and you'll find better wallpapers, better color palettes and stuff that you wouldn't have found before. So you could see colors right there. I mean, there's a lot you can do with the One UI 5.1, but software, I'm just happy with it so far. It's fun to use. That's, that's the best thing I could say a week later. I'll talk more about features in the full review. Now, performance a week later, this is something I want to really drive home here. I used this phone all day yesterday. I could not make it lag. Literally never lags. And this is huge because last year's S22 Ultra was lagging, but this one, I don't care what you're doing. There is no delays, nothing. And that's amazing because this is something, and you've seen it in my speed test, even the animations, look at the animations. They are butter. Like, this is something that I don't usually get with Samsung phones, and now we're getting it. So this really takes it up a notch if you want to use a Samsung experience and you want it to be buttery smooth, S23, any of the models this year, they're right there. They're very good this time around. So yeah, that's my take on that. Battery life, I'm not fully ready to give you my final thoughts on this just yet, but I will say that, you know, it does seem to drain a little bit faster, especially when in the WQHD plus mode. So I tweak it to full HD plus during the daytime to give it, you know, longer battery life, but they've done a lot better now with the standby. It's not draining so much in standby as it used to. It's still not the best out there, but I left this phone on the table for 12 hours. It only went down 2%. So they're doing much better there. And the 5,000 milliamp hour battery in here can definitely give you a really good solid full day. Now, I will say though that, you know, I find myself, you know, having pretty fast charging times as well. So I like that with this phone and has reverse wireless charging, wireless charging, things like that. A week later, I would say I'm pretty happy with the battery life on here. Um, it's not blowing me away though. It's still, I still look at that size and feel like I should get more with a 5,000 milliamp hour, but I'm still making a full day on this thing. So a week later, that's not too bad. Now, the thing that has been really impressive here, and I would say this is the main reason to buy the Galaxy S23 Ultra, is going to be the cameras. So we've already took a few samples of Android Man in our unboxing, but let me go ahead and show you the full, you know, let me let me go, show, go ahead and show you these samples I got right here. So I just took a few, I actually have over 150 images, but I'm only going to show a few here in this video. I know some people say, put it on screen. I'm just going to show you here. So if you take a look, you'll just see, look at the level of detail on this light post and look at the sky. It's just so vibrant. It's these pictures are incredible. They're the type of pictures you look at and you just want to post right now. You could see right there. I mean, look at the detail on the zoom. This is at the three X. Look at it. I mean, the detail is ridiculous. So really good photo quality color saturation it just looks beautiful <laughs> like it gives you a result that you're going to be happy with and focusing is great too you don't really have any focusing issues nothing like that 
and just super versatile. That's the main thing I have to say about it. Like there's just so much versatility within this camera. I was using the food mode. I mean, anything you want, it just feels like a true phone replacement, you know, for a camera, if you're gonna go ahead and take advantage of the features. So I would say that this phone's price point is worth it, you know, a week later, if you're really gonna use camera a lot. If you're not gonna use this a lot, I think you're overpaying for this phone, honestly. And then I wanna move on to my week later thoughts on the S Pen. And the S Pen has kind of been mastered already. So here it just feels like they just brought it back. That's all I can say about it. Um, honestly, after using the S Pen on the Galaxy Tab Ultra, this feels really small to use the S Pen now, but it's still a nice like tab experience. But I think the S Pen is kind of still a niche thing, even though it's been mastered and a lot of people love it. I still think only a subset of users actually use the S Pen. So not saying I want it to go away. It's just a nice, it just feels like a nice cherry on top for the Galaxy S23 Ultra. And it can make you very productive if you do write notes. And if you love to draw, there is a great community and coloring and stuff like that you can do with it. But other than that, you know, Bluetooth features, we'll talk more about those in the full review. It's just another S Pen. It works very well. Some of the best, you know, on any phone that has a stylus. And of course, this does have very loud speakers on here. So the audio sounded great and things like that. So one week later, my thoughts, you, you've seen them so far. I, I wanna go more deep in the full review. We're gonna talk more about everything and I'll show you, I'm gonna give you a full amount of samples. You're gonna see it all coming here on Thursday. But a week later, I can say that I'm pretty impressed with this phone. It screams refinement, it screams, you know, the S, our S22 Ultra wasn't the best ever, but this one, we have really no issues and we're at the top of our game. That kind of how it feels, but it doesn't feel like it's innovative or anything like the Galaxy Fold line of devices. It just feels like this is the best we can do with everything we've learned and everything we've mastered up until this point. And for that reason, it might be boring to some people, but it's almost perfect in a sense. So let me know your thoughts on the Galaxy S23 Ultra. What do you want to see me cover now in the full review? That's going to be my final like main review type video on this phone. So let me know because I got a few more days left. I'm going to go get some photos and stuff today. Let me know what you want to see on it. I'll catch you on the next one. Nick here. Be sure to be well and peace.